Welcome, Math. Nice to see you. So open up your browser. <laughs> Fine. No, for, open up your browser first. And then you're going to go to learn.zula.edu. Learn.zula.edu. And then once you get there, you are going to <coughs> type in your single sign on username and password. Correct. Yep. Correct. Everybody logged on? I can see my Okay, good. Now log off by going to your name and log off and then log on again. I, I knew this one. <laughs> That's okay. It is my responsibility to be sure you practice. <laughs> so there you go. You got it? Oh, yeah, let's do this. Do you all know about pinning and unpinning your classes? Yeah, like let's say I don't want university faculty, then you just click on this little pin. See the little pin? I'm just going to get rid of this one, let's say. Just click on that little pin and it goes away. <laughs> but they're always, you can always get back to them. But look, you can get back to them by going. In. Do you see? So I'm just getting. A, so here's my list of courses. So now the first thing we're going to do is pick a course. So so watch me first. Is we are going to learn how to post a document. Okay, post a document, and so syllabus. Right, we're going to post a syllabus. So here we're going to go to content. And then I'm going to, you might not want this to be big, where I get big. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to reverse the order this time, I'm going to create a module called syllabus because I want it to be my table of contents. Over here is your table of contents. So if you want this to show up like your book table of contents, you can just create new things. I'm going to create syllabus. And then over here, now see, I'm in syllabus. It says syllabus. I'm going to go upload, create. And I'm going to upload a file. And then from that file, I mean, from this, I'm going to upload. And I'm going to upload this thing I called syllabus. There it is. And now I'm going to add. And now it's going to ignore that because this, I've done this a couple times is, is training. But here, so here it is. So now, if I'm just want to show you real quick, if I'm viewing as a student, I can go to content. They can see syllabus, and then there's the syllabus. Okay, so there you go. So, yeah, you can or organize it by chapters, by weeks, however you want to do it. Um, I'm going to show you real quick. Just let me show you this real quick from a real class that I'm teaching. Here's my class that I'm teaching here, and you can see if when students go, let me be a student. When they go to content, they see. The syllabus, every, yeah. So they, so that's, I've got mine because I'm teaching advanced research. I've got mine around the, the assignments, right? But you can do chapters. You can do it, whatever makes sense for your class. Yes, send you here, right here. So I can, um, where your picture is, your name is, you, that's where you click view as a student. And then it will tell you. So notice like here's my picture, but when I view as a student, it's, does it big and orange like, oh, you're a student. See, there we go. And I still forget to log out. Okay, that's, that's posting documents. So that's the like, if you think about it, the most basic thing you'll be doing is providing materials for students by posting them and you can create new modules and you can do that. Okay, next thing that I wanna show you do is about emailing, communicating with your class. So if you go to class list, click on class list, your class will come up. You can click on email class list and send email. 
and then look, it's gonna create an email for your whole class. Now it puts it a bit of BCC instead of a CC because that way they can't see each other's, um, you know, that way if you, if you are sending information, negative information, it doesn't look like it's, they can't see who it went to. It also, they can't reply all, you know, those kind of things. Yes. So, so you go to class list, email class list. So all the names appear. Yep, so all the names appear, including any instructors you have. So if you have like an SI or something, it will show up in there, as long as they're in your Blackboard, um, your Brightspace course. So there's all the names. Um, you Here's your subject. You can change the subject or use this. You type, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to send this to my class. And then you just hit send. And it sends. Yeah, you get an email sent to your email inbox, but you also can, in Brightspace, find the emails that you actually sent. Oh, thank you. Let's, show, let's do that, because I'm going to show one of mine. So, yeah, so let's go to the... Here, you can come to it. Mini bar. Oh. Go to the mini bar. All right, go to the mini bar. And then click on the little envelope. Oh, envelope, okay. And then choose email. And notice there's a link right on the right hand side that says sent to me. Oops, sorry. There's a button that says sent to me. Yep. And that shows you all the messages you sent inside of Ah, here we go. So here, so here's like, so I just sent this one, your IRB. And here it is. So it so you can see it it automatically shows up from me. It automatically shows up from me. Sorry, I'm having trouble. And then here's all the BCCs. So it even BCCs you, so you get a copy as well. Thank you though, I appreciate you um, knowing that. I mean, Janice, thank you. So everybody can do that now. You can send an email to the group. You can see me email to one or two. Okay, so that's what today was covering. Logging on, um, uh, putting a document on, and doing email. Because we figured at the very basic, that's the very basic.